Hi, in this video we'll observe how to configure ByteScout Cloud API Server. In the last video, we have gone through setting up API Server in Internet Information Server IIS. To begin with, let's explore the API Server Publish folder. Here, we have all published files for API Server. We're mostly interested in the web.config file. It's the key file for setting up various configurations. Let's open a web.config file with any text editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. In the web.config file, under Configuration, App Settings, it contains all settings. To begin with, we'll be going through some key settings. Storage Type, this represents the output location of generated files. It can be either local or S3. If the storage type is local, output files will be stored locally in the specified folder. We also need to specify additional settings for local storage such as storage path, base URL, lifespan of stored files, etc. On the other hand, if we have configured storage type as S3, then output files will be stored on AWS S3 storage. As expected, we have to provide S3 related settings. For example, bucket name, AWS keys, server region, etc. Let's see the contents of the local storage folder. Here, we have a local storage type. Let me grab the path and open it in File Explorer. As we observe, it contains several folders with output files inside. Please note, that these files are temporary and will be deleted after specified duration. One important note here, we have to give write permission to an IIS user so that files can be generated at the specific location. Follow these steps to check writes. Right-click on the output folder and navigate to properties. I have already given rights here, we can check by going to the sharing tab and verifying allowed roles in the share menu. Folders specified by local storage settings contain nested folders with output files. Let's observe them. Now moving to other configuration settings, base URL will be used in API response to refer to output files. Log exception type represents error log type. It can be either none, local, email or both. Naming is self-explanatory. In case of local error message logging, we need to provide an output folder path for error logging. Let me open an error log in File Explorer. As of now there are no error files, lucky me, but in case of error it will be stored here and can be very useful for diagnosis. In case we also want email to be sent to the developer when any error occurs, we need to provide email details such as email to, SMTP configuration, etc. Finally, we need to set all license keys for internal ByteScout SDKs used. You will receive all license keys upon purchase of API server license. And, that's all. See you on board.